y'all baby. Oh y'all, Lori got the Colombians and baby, she got the Colombians on her, okay? Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, it is simply welcome to my channel. I am Rochelle and reporting live from Cali, Columbia, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just kind of wanted to let you guys get a little bit of this beautiful scenery. We are about to go downstairs to the mall, guys. We're staying at the Speedwick Hotel. That's spelled S-P-I-W-A-K Hotel. And it is gorgeous here. Y'all, oh, let me tell y'all about these glasses, girl. So these are the glasses I got from Dee Dee's. If y'all remember a couple of vlogs ago, I think I paid like $8 for these. And then I'll just give you guys, um, let me see if I can uh, put this up. I'm gonna try to give you guys like a quick little rundown of the outfit. Y'all not gonna be able to see me. Hold on, let me see if I can step back. Oh, there it is. Okay, so y'all, I have on this uh, bralette top. Guys, I bought this bralette top from uh, Dee Dee's. Um, I think Value Village for $2. I have on this skirt and y'all, they go all the way down. So this skirt was $2.50 from Value Village. And then y'all, I just have on these cute little pink little flip-flops or pink color little flip-flops. I bought those the other day when I went to uh, Valkyrie Village. I mean, not Valkyrie Village. I'm sorry, girl. When we went to, um, remember when I took y'all to, uh, to, uh, what was the name of that? Trim All. I got them from Trim All on the clearance rack. And then y'all, I just have on my Insta Pony. But anyway, I just wanted to come in and show you guys my outfit. And if I didn't say it at the beginning, guys, this is volume four of vlogmas so we're about to go downstairs to the mall i'm going to show you guys everything so um let's let me get my purse and stuff like i always do and then i'm gonna see you guys when we get to the mall okay all right that's fine Okay, I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests And I'm way too sexy to go unprotected And she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you Okay, alright, that's fine, okay Think we got too sexy for that metro house Diamond popped out, almost swallowed 60,000 Section need more things in here, I like it crowded Tell me what you like about him You a turk, a little dotty, ain't no wife about it I'ma fuck her friends and send her back to Metro House me doing on vacation eating red velvet i can't i can't take it eating red velvet on a real plate and it is so y'all hold on y'all the red velvet it's delicious and it's 
Y'all, the red velvet actually has real cheesecake in it. It's so good. What's this pink? What's the pink stuff though? outside of uh, Columbia or outside of uh, the Starbucks and also guys Cali Columbia is at this point pretty much the veneer capital of the world and guys they literally have a dentist on every corner that you can imagine I mean and that's one of the first things that you see when you get to Cali so guys that's one of the first things that you see when you get to Cali you see uh, a huge advertisement for veneers or whatever um, but one thing I'm noticing is that the doctors here, they're starting to get a lot more natural with the way that they do their veneers because, you know, like the big veneers, you know, that, that's kind of how they did them when it first started getting super popular. But what I'm starting to see, like we met this girl today, who was it? I can't remember the, the, the lady we met today. She showed us a doctor and his veneers, y'all, they look so natural. So that's, uh, I do like that. Um, I do like that they're going in the direction of uh, getting, you know, the veneers are getting more natural looking. Now, as far as my veneers, guys, my veneers are a little bit bigger because I've always had big teeth. I have, uh, my natural teeth are really, really big. And so uh, when they uh, put the, because I don't have, I have uh, none prep veneers. So I just, uh, I don't have crowns or anything. It's just none prep. So when I got my veneers done, they didn't really shave my teeth down. They just put the material on top of my teeth. And so, uh, and then also my bite, it kind of comes out kind of like, uh, my bite comes out at an angle like that. So uh, if you can see what I'm talking about. So I didn't get braces or anything. I just, because I didn't want braces at that point, I just kind of wanted my teeth straight. So uh, my veneers are a little bit bigger, but that's because like I said, my teeth are big. And I don't honestly think that my, you know, I think that this is just, no matter, no matter if I get them redone or not, they're just gonna look like this again because that's just my natural teeth. But anyway guys, so yeah, I just wanted to come on and um, you know, show y'all a couple of things. We've been walking around a mile and girl, my feet hurt. My feet are starting to hurt, but we're still gonna walk around because we haven't even, Lord, we haven't even walked around a third of the mall, have we? Girl, y'all, this mall is huge. So anyway, I'm gonna come back in a little while and talk to you guys and um, at our next sit down destination, cause girl, we gotta take a break. That's how big this mall is. But I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys in a minute. Oh, let's go in here. Okay, guys. We found a store that looked like it could be a Forever 21. So let's go in here and see what they have. All right, y'all. So it's a cute little store, but the clothes in here, uh, not really, not really my style. So we're going to try to find somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Not really, not really like super. I don't know. They just went my style. But anyway. Okay, so what's this? Oh, oh, they look like some kind of, I don't know what that is. All right, let's see what else they have in here. Oh, it feels, y'all, it feels so good out here. Oh my God. You know, all my Spanish speaking mommies out there, we having a hard time. Can you help us out? Yeah, we're definitely, so we have to pull out the, uh, the translator app. Because baby, they, they keep walking up to Lori and just, Full, full on speaking Spanish or whatever. With me, it's not so much. They be like, oh, they look like I got, oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Look, y'all. Look at this shirt. That is gorgeous. You see something else? 
Hold on. Oh, that skirt. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Girl, you know I'm about to go in here and see how much it costs. Come on. Oh. Let's see. Hello. Y'all, look at this beautiful dress. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at this girl. Yeah, so guys, this is something that I would absolutely wear. This is beautiful. How much is it? Oh, that's not bad at all. This look at this dress, girl. This is this is huh? I love it though. That's some that's a that's definitely a Rochelle dress. I absolutely love it. All right, y'all. So that store we left had some gorgeous stuff in it. I absolutely love it. They were kind of, they were kind of pricey though, but the it was worth it. The quality was good. What's this over here? Ooh, they got the frozen mango. Yeah, oh, I bet that's good. Yeah. Let's. Okay, let's go back over here. That's okay. Shit, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Okay, girl, I think Mauricio might be off of work today. Uh, let's see. See, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm thinking about getting the Mimo 5 because it has the extender on it. And it just makes it easier to vlog when you have, you know, the extender or whatever. But we'll see. Or even the Roni. The Roni is expensive, girl, but that's the next one. I'm going to be honest. I want the Roni and the iPhone 13. Put some shit on your business account. Yeah, okay, okay. Y'all, Lord, giving me the game over here. Girl, they got waist trainer stores. Uh-uh, baby, y'all, wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. Baby, they got the waist trainer store, sis. Yes. They got the, the Fayette. Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right, girl. They got the they got the ring light store, honey. They got the you can get your ring light here. You can get anything you need right here. <laughs> oh, what's a phone wallet? Oh wow! Okay, y'all. We didn't found a store that kind of looked like Sephora. Oh, and they got, oh, look at all of these hair gadgets, y'all. Look at this. Girl, where the eyelashes? Oh, right here. <laughs> right here. I need some more. I need some more, oh, girl, makeup brushes. I need some more dramatic eyelashes. See, they're only 41, 41, 90. I mean, that's that's maybe like a little bit more than that's like ten something dollars. All right, y'all, I'm back and I'm tired, girl. I just finished filming this during <coughs> weight <coughs> weight loss update video, girl. I'm woe out. So anyway, I just wanted to show y'all, uh, you know, some of the the people who don't do YouTube or who are con considering doing YouTube. I want to show y'all some behind the scenes. Of what it really takes to make a YouTube video. So let me show y'all this. So y'all, this was my setup. This was my setup right here. And um, I was not able to get it the way I wanted. So baby, I got the gimbal, the light from the gimbal. I got the pillows propped up. Girl, had the iPad propped up on the pillows. Had the Pringles helping me. Um, And then from the front... We have the ring light. I had to bend the ring light to the side so I can get the right angle and the right light. Then we had a light from the, the gimbal. So by any means necessary. Yeah, y'all, like I was saying, when it comes to like, if you really want to do this or you really want to do anything, it's really no excuse to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's no excuse. 
Um, you make sacrifices, you make compromises or whatever. But anyway, girl, I am woe out. So y'all, we ended up going to the mall today. I'm gonna put my gimbal thing on here. Hold on. Let me get my gimbal. Thing. All right, y'all, I'm back. Okay, like I was saying, um, yeah, girl, like if you really want to like do this and it, uh, well, not, and I ain't even just talking about YouTube. I'm just talking about like whatever you want to do. Don't, don't let anything hold you back. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let anything hold you back. Um, I'm trying to get this thing situated, girl, because I'm sitting out here and talk to y'all for a while. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Yeah, y'all. So don't let anything hold you back um just go for it because that's what i'm doing like i was saying um in a couple of vlogs ago like i'm just kind of stepping out on the limb guys i don't have a traditional job you know like um i kind of work for myself now i pay myself and that's based off of money that i saved up over the years working in corporate america i'm just blessed to be like a really really super disciplined person you know financially and so guys i pay myself a very very meager salary you know what i'm saying like um but i but i do i travel um like i, I don't i think y'all know already girl i'm in cali columbia um i was in cancun a few months ago i was in vegas not too long ago and so i pretty much i travel and um i create content now don't excuse me, don't get me wrong. I do feel like I can go harder. I do feel like um, I can create more videos in a week. And I do, and I am hard on myself. You know, sometimes I just be like, man, you ain't working hard enough. And then I know everybody's, um, let me sit down over here. I know everybody's, um, you know, everybody's relationship is different, you know, is different with God or whatever. And I know that God, he he is a he is a way maker and i know that but sometimes i just be feeling like i'm not working hard enough and because i'm like if I, i'm not working hard enough like god is not gonna bless me and i know i shouldn't think like that but i do tend to excuse me i do tend to be a little bit hard on myself you know but um i want to go oh okay oh shoot y'all i'm having trouble with the gimbal anyway i do want to um I want to, you know, I do want to create more content. I want to put more videos out a week. But you know what? The only person that can change that and make that happen is me. I'm the only person that can change it and make it happen. I'm the only person that I have to hold accountable now. I can't blame a job. I can't blame, you know, my manager not letting me take vacation. Guys, this is all on me. And if I truly want this and I truly want to be successful, you know, I know that consistency um, I have to be consistent, I have to be positive, um, and I just have to keep going. And I just want to tell you guys the same thing. Um, don't let anything hold you back. You know, um, have a vision for yourself, make a plan. Um, I know I'm fidgeting a lot, girl, but we, gonna, we about to get it together. But yeah, um, like I was saying, guys, don't let anything hold you back. You know, have a vision for yourself make a plan and stick to it you know that's the that's the best advice i can give you guys and i don't want to come across as like all preachy and stuff because really while i'm you know encouraging you guys and telling y'all this stuff i'm you know i'm telling myself the same thing you know um and then also y'all i tend to be like a worry board i tend to worry about a lot of stuff where i know i should and i do know that you need not you but me personally i need to let go and let god but um you know what though we're gonna get there everybody you know we you have a goal in mind you'll get there i'll get there uh, my advice to you as well as to myself is just do something every single day towards your goal even if it even if it's something small you know what i'm saying even like if it's just going to get some little business cards or even if it's just like I don't know if you want to start blogging, girl. Just start cutting the camera on and being on the camera for like 15 minutes a day. Or not even 15 minutes a day. Get on there 15 minutes every other day. Whatever you want. Like I said in my other video, girl, the sky is the limit. Don't let anything hold you back. 
But anyway, girl, uh, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> but I just wanted to encourage you guys because I need, sometimes I need some encouragement. So I needed to encourage myself. So I wanted to encourage you guys along the way. But anyway, girl, y'all, I'm tired. Baby, we didn't, it feels like we didn't walk the entire Cali, Colombia today. I'm exhausted. So I'm about to, um, I'm about to, I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to take this makeup off. I'm about to take a shower. And girl, y'all already know, I'm probably going to, about, we went to the grocery store today. Um, I'm probably about to make me some sliced cucumbers. And then, um, I'm going to get in the bed. But I'm going to see you guys, um, I'm going to see you guys, you know, in, in the next vlogmas or whatever. Because we do have, I got a couple appointments planned tomorrow. And y'all coming with me or whatever. But guys, I do hope you are enjoying my rendition of vlogmas. Because guys, I'm not, I'm not a Grinch or anything. But y'all really, I'm not like a holiday person. Like I told y'all, y'all don't know I be getting the holiday blues and stuff. I be getting, um, seasonal depression. But, you know, um, I, I just... I bind that in the name of Jesus. Like this year, we're not gonna, you know, this year we're gonna fight through it. So anyway, I hope that you guys are enjoying what I deem as a vlogmas because I know this is not the traditional vlogmas thing. Guys, y'all not gonna see me in Target um, and stuff and Walmart buying Christmas ornaments and Christmas trees because guys, I just don't, that's just, I just don't do that. So I just um, hope, like I said, I'm starting to ramble and repeat myself, but anyway, girl, I just hope that you guys enjoy my rendition of Vlogmas and the way that I kind of, you know, do things or whatever. But all of that being said, I just wanted to come back and tell you guys that I appreciate you so much for watching. Y'all, it's over 400 of us. It's over 400 bombshells. And God, I'm so grateful. God is good. I'm grateful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting my content. It means so much to me. I really appreciate you all. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to close the vlog out. And, yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next one.